I have to kick off by asking you about 3.3% inflation right now in Saudi Arabia, the highest we've seen in the country, I believe, in the last 18 months or so. To your mind, is the Fed on the right track? Because, of course, the Saudi real is pegged to the U.S. dollar. Thank you very much. I think we spoke about this uh, slightly when we uh, met last time. Inflation is a result of what we have done as policymakers over the last few years during COVID. And I think the Fed rightly need to deal with inflation. Um, Saudi uh, real is big to the dollars, and, and we need to raise the rates when the Fed raises the rates. However, we actually have made preemptive um, actions uh, as Saudi government throughout last year to, in anticipation of this inflation, um, including uh, putting a ceiling on the fuel prices for the local economy, which actually prevented uh, more inflation from what we are seeing. We are likely to see actually that inflation going down. Year on year, it is about 2.6. Month on month, it's about 3.3. It is likely to go down to about 2.6, 2.5, possibly even lower. In spite of the fact that what we're seeing in the global economy, if you will, and the volatility at the moment in energy prices, you have billions of dollars of projects in Saudi Arabia happening right now and in the pipeline. Is it fair to say that the break-even price for Saudi is not $80 a barrel, but closer to 90 Vision 2030 is about actually decoupling the government expenditure from the volatility of the oil price. We have a very strong fiscal position, fiscal buffers, reserves. Um, that we use to actually balance what happens in the oil market. Uh, Saudi position on oil uh, price is very clear. I mean, we wanted to see a stable, less volatile oil market. Uh, that is helpful for the world economy, and we wanted to make sure that we, we don't see uh, serious shocks uh, and to your in mind, the oil market. Serious shock is $100 a barrel? Uh, I would not put a price tag onto what that means. It means basically a price that would actually drive consumption to go down and economy to actually go down. I would also call a shock a price that is low, that would not encourage investors to invest more, which basically means that we will have a shortage in supply uh, months later. That these up and down shocks are very bad for the world economy. And OPEC Plus, with Saudi as a member, works to make sure that this balance is available.